Well, let's get more on this now with Danny Ayalon in Tel Aviv. He served as Deputy Foreign Minister and as a member of the Knesset, who was also the Israeli Ambassador to the United States. Really good to have you with us, Ambassador. As we know, uh, Antony Blinken is currently on what can only be described as a whirlwind tour of Israel and Palestine. He has offered uh, words of assurances, calls for calm in the wake of the deadliest violence we've seen in years. But realistically, what can the Secretary achieve in terms of diffusing tensions between the Israelis and Palestinians? Well, hopefully some calm. Unfortunately, right now, there is no peace process with the Palestinians uh, due to the intransigence. Uh, there is nobody to talk to over there. You have Hamas in Gaza. Uh, Abu Mazen, they keep incitement, and uh, Washington was distraught by the massacre of seven Israeli uh, prayer-going people that came out of the synagogue. Seven of them were massacred by a Palestinian terror. So one thing he's going to talk about is the incitement, that the Palestinian Authority should stop inciting for violence and also um, uh, stop paying for terrorists. You know, there is what is called the pay-to-slay um, uh, legislation in the Palestinian uh, Authority where they pay Palestinian terrorists who kill. The more they kill, the more pay they get. So this is something which is high on the agenda. As I mentioned, unfortunately, there is no talk about any peace process right now about a two-state solution for two peoples because there is no uh, traction from either side. However, I believe that what he will press on Israel is to, first of all, do its part from the American uh, position is to keep the status quo in um, Temple Mount, Haram al-Sharif. This is one thing which is important for them. And also uh, to make sure that um, the, um, the, the settlement uh, activity in Judea and Samaria or the, the West Bank is not going uh, out of hand. On the other hand, with the Palestinians, he will uh, press on them to uh, renew and to deepen the uh, security coordination. Yes, yeah, so equally, the Palestinians, the Palestinians would argue that uh, the Israeli state has to stop the wanton destruction of Palestinian lands and the murder of innocent Palestinian people. We saw that on display last Thursday when Israeli forces raided the Jenin refugee camp in which an elderly woman who clearly wasn't any sort of a terrorist was killed. Uh, what would you say to Palestinian calls for the Israeli state to stop the violence against innocent Palestinians? Sure, sure. I, I would tell them very simply, do what you need to do for your own good. Uh, curb the, uh, the terror activities, especially in the northern part of Judea and Samaria, mainly in Jenin and Nablus. Over there, uh, it's a lawless land. The Palestinian Authority is afraid to go in and to stop terrorists. When they do not do their job, Israel has to pick up the slack and do it in order to defend Israeli uh, lives. And uh, uh, the, the thing is, you know, this uh, action in, uh, in Jenin just last week, it was nine Palestinian armed terrorists that were killed. That, that, that is the, 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 the real truth. We have to look at it and, and accept it, that Israel has to defend its people. And if the Palestinians do not do their share, we have to do it, and this is, it's not just a, a matter of a, you know, the chicken and the, uh, and the egg. You know, the, the thing is that there is a, an incitement to kill Israelis, and it's not that uh, Israelis are not willing to negotiate, but right now there is no one to negotiate with. And everybody's talking about occupation, occupation, occupation. Why is there occupation? Because in order to deoccupy, you need to get a settlement, a political settlement, which will uh, reach calm in the region, which will reach a real peace and, uh, and uh, coexistence. And this is not in the cards right now. So Israel is here in a bind, because on the one hand, there is no political process. On the other hand, there is incitement by the Palestinian and terrorism. So this is why it has to go and, uh, and, and go and hunt Terrorist. It's not that Israel is going and just uh, indiscriminately keep killing people. Not at all. Okay, Ambassador Danny Ayolon, we will have to leave it there, but we really appreciate your time. Thank you again for joining us. My, my pleasure. Thank you.